this is my my painting, which I have few of them only, maybe two or three, in which that's the landscape. Uh, through the window, which the view through the window, which is in the landscape. It is being called computer landscape. I have two of them. It, it had to be diptych, but the second one is not very good, so I, I, I show this one only. And another painting is um, uh, the instruction and the project at the same time is not very much of the painting, but this was the first time my professor said that it is good. And it was already after the studies. And I was using just my mind and no, 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 uh, no, no, no nature, no any other, just the imaginary uh, seaside and the cliff and those um, um, uh, those seagulls, they, they, they form some colonies artificially made by, by humans. Um, we see here that um, they live in, in some sort of a handmade, man-made nest. I thought they, these nests are made of uh, carbon. Asturi there, uh, all my works that I know of, of my own, um, exist as some sort of synthetic reality in which I, I know only part uh, and which I take that part. The rest is, of course, belong to the scene of the actors. And so um, I wouldn't tell that this is solemnly my work. And if I would need to, to monetize somehow this work because of uh, some objectives I have, I wouldn't put my name uh, as an author name at all. Because um, they exist as a scene for their action and um, other actors have their interests and I definitely cannot uh, climb that space as my, my personal space, as my own. So it applies to, to the right of my works and um, it happens that Majority of the works they co co consist of several genres: uh, painting, video, and performance. Most of, of this, uh, I would I would say, this is a performance. I don't have the practice as such, but I think now that uh, when I work, I have to do something else also, just anything, you know, because uh, time scale is really large. Works the the one work takes tens of years, for instance. Um, and uh, so, of course, during this time, you have to do something also. So I, I do some designs. Th this is the glasses you, you can see now. This is the, the, those glasses. Later, I, I, I did um, uh, the candle stand. Or what else? So I can um, start with Bisbee stitch. Uh, where I tested how life prolongation does feel. That was a quick idea and site specific, I guess, to um, where I was thinking. One time it was very important for me, um, this life prolo prolongation idea. And I just tried really to, to see how it would feel if you prolong your life. And this up plan time scale within which you live, um, it's somehow distorted. And if you, if you live, for instance, if you know that, that you live indefinitely, you know that probably you will uh, become every possible you in the future. This is given that humanity will stop somehow producing uh, culture onward. And it probably will happen because you cannot uh, invent another accordion. So most likely that sometimes in the future we'll, you would start doing something you don't like now. And so stitching these two now and in the future 
uh, would maybe give something, at least something. So I tried to, 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 uh, to learn playing accordion. I don't know what happened. It was, it was difficult, very difficult. The city was teaching these two experiences of now and, um, and, and, and hypothetical future situation. Of course, there is full of, of flaws this because it's very speculative, of course, because in the future you would have to like this. Uh, one time I, I, I was doing the work where I pretended to be the internet and any could browse me by asking something. <laughs> well, just like that. I was lucky nobody uh, uh, did that. What else? I guess they're here. At least some of them. Aha, uh -huh, how to simulate eye contact. It's a very practical uh, feature I found, and I, I just wanted to share with people. So you have to defocus your eyes, and you can clearly watch uh, to the eyes, and you don't get the information from, from the opponent. Just slightly defocus. And normally, eye, eye contact um, passes some information, which is not, not normally, not always um, OK. Some, uh, some, sometimes. So in this case, you could defocus your eyes and, uh, and not to get the, that information. I, so uh, I was doing workshop for that. You cut the information, incoming information. At the same time, you probably can do the formal eye contact in this case. Because, because you don't need, in this case, to, to shoulder surf or to, to uh, floor surf with, the, with your eyes. And yes, it's practical. They're made of skin goggles and chopsticks. It's even not very important to, to know what you do because um, art institutions created very good format for artists. They created artwork. It was never like this before, before art institutions uh, 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 appeared in the world. Uh, artists had to, to do some paintings or else, and this was it. And now you can do anything, and you are, uh, you are forgiven for, 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 for any, uh, automatically you do this, and it's fantastic. And for that reason, I, I thought, what if you push it a little bit for, further? And what if you just say that? that those institutions, in fact, does everything. And so Pinocchio uh, happened to um, appear, this work where art institutions does the art and artist from scratch, where the arts work and artists are in one. And so uh, there was several, several shows where uh, institutions does that, and the one was, the, the last one, I guess, um, was um, at the two museums, uh, Hayward in London and Tamayo, Museo Tamayo in, um, in Mexico City. That was the duo show, where two museums uh, created their own uh, works and uh, we presented in the gallery. There was amazing works. From, from um, Hayward, they represented one, uh, two, in fact, works. The one was the noses of Mr. Hayward. I like several ideas in this work. The first one, of course, it was a very abstract idea that um, just all those artists I know uh, just flies through the skies to Venice. Uh, imagine Chagall, flying uh, people of Chagall, and those, those artists, like those Chagall characters, just flies to Venice. And they just take them in, in flight. 
and they realize that they've uh, on, on their way already flying. So the, this well, they they wasn't introduced before they started to fly. So they started to fly, and it's later on, on their way they were introduced. They are flying to Venice. At the beginning, it is much more like motivation to do that, not the concrete idea. And later it goes and rolls on and on, and and you start liking it or or not. 